Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you an updated office tour. I recently just kind of low budget remodeled my area here and I brought new different plants into my office. So I wanted to give you guys a updated plant office tour and just kind of show you my new decor setup. So let's get on into it. Let's start with this wall here. This is my door that leads to my office and you walk in and to your right is a little storage unit, some plants and my calendar. So right here is my blue candle cactus that I got from my mom's front yard. This was actually the arm of one of her bigger ones and she had to saw it off because it was growing into her second one and she didn't want it to like push it aside. So she sawed the arm off and I was like, oh, I can definitely fit that in my suitcase. <laughs> and I brought it back with me and it lives here very happy in this pot. This is just a little storage area I have that I need to go through because it's ridiculous. Oh my god, there's so much crap in there. Here is my Monstera Deliciosa, which is not doing the greatest. This is probably the only leaf back here <laughs> that has some fenestrations on it. This was a, a like two or three cuttings from my mama plant. It does have some new growth coming in back there, but it just doesn't get enough light here, so I may end up moving it, but it's cute there for now. I like it. And this is off of my OG Monstera. The new leaves are coming in without any splits, but that's all right. Okay, right here, I found this little terrarium that I had from a while ago, and I put my little Easter cactus in there that's in soil, and then my Hoya curtisii that's potted in soil. I have this glass bowl here that I don't know what I wanna do with yet, but it does have drainage in it, so I don't know, stay tuned for that. Up here, there's Mia in Arizona. We went horseback riding. Is my string of hearts and it just hangs on this wall here. I have cut this so many times. As you can see, it's pretty straight across at the bottom. It doesn't grow like that. As you can see, it's already pushing out some new growth down here. I will show you what I cut off in a second because I actually have it in this room. But I mean, I've probably trimmed this about five times already. It just keeps growing. It loves the spot, so it's never gonna leave there. Here is my cactus greenhouse. Oh, hi, you can see my reflection that I planted in another video. So back here we have a Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. We have a Mammillaria fraliana. Then right here we have a Hostiae. This is a Lithop down here that's doing great. My White Ghost Euphorbia. We have an Apuntia back here that the reason I have this open is because it's kind of growing through the top there. Old Man Cactus back there. There you go, can you see him? Here is my Dicarii, which is such a cool plant. It almost looks like little mini palm trees. A succulent back there. So those live in there, they're pretty happy in there. My calendar for June and July. That's my favorite picture. Up here we have my rat tail cactus. You can tell, I had this outside last year. <laughs> you can tell where I had it outside and then when I brought it in, just by the thickness of these leaves, it's hilarious. I think it's so funny. Definitely needs more light. I thought about bringing it out this year, but I really think I need to repot it. I think it's it's time for a repot. But in the meantime, it just looks funny there. Here's my Scandapsis Pictus. This is the Silvery Ann, which I just love, love, love the leaves on here. And it's starting to trail. I think I want to get a trellis for this. Oh, and Steve. Yeah, I have killed that. He loves this clock. This is his favorite clock. Inside joke. Okay, this is my Peperomia Parallel. I love this plant, but I'll be honest, it is such a touchy plant. I had this in soil for a while and just kept dropping leaves. Then I tried to put it in LECA, was not having it. Like I lost maybe two vines after putting in a LECA. So I took it out and I just popped it in water and I swear this plant is the happiest in water. They have lived in water for a very long time before I tried potting medium. They were pretty much grown in water. Like you can see the nodes are already growing more leaves down there. 
insane. So I don't know if it's just because I've had this in water for so long that it won't adapt to anything else, but I'm fine with it being in water and it's, it's just gonna stay right there. I do have another one in soil in another room, which you'll see in another video, but it's just not that happy. Not as happy as my water one. Oh, I have to read this book, Sally Field. She's a real one, love her. This is my silver torch cactus or woolly cactus. I've had this plant for probably two years now and it hasn't put on very much growth, but it's still very happy. Just this summer, it started putting on those, that little top patch of spines there. I love it, it's so cool. I have a crazy plant lady mug there, some business cards there. Oh look, it's my stickers. All right, now let's move over to my desk. It's just my laptop, my keyboard that my husband bought me. I posted this and you guys see it in videos and people ask me all the time. This is the Retro Classic from Azio, Azio. It was it was an expensive keyboard, but I saw it on Pinterest and he bought it for me for Christmas. I would have never bought it for myself, <laughs> but I absolutely love it. It had the keys light up and it just sounds like an old school typewriter. I love it. Some notepads, these stickers I got on Etsy and I'll link the shop below because people ask me about those as well. Little cup holder I got from Pammy's planty things. And then we have in here my little Adam Becca Nicole cactus that I potted up <laughs> in another video. This is my Astrophytum Myrostigma. I have the labels here for this video specifically because <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna remember. This is my Astrophytum Ornatum, that pokey boy back there. And then this one here is my, oops, Euphorbia Horida. I like these two the most because they don't have very many spines, unlike that guy. All right, my camera's for my photography business. Camera bag, which lives there. This is my Adansonii Wide Leaf. It is just so pretty. What is that? Oh, dust from the wall. Oh, I gotta dust it off <laughs> from me hanging my shelves. This just won't stop growing. I'm seeing a yellow leaf back there. That's probably an old leaf. But other than that, like it just keeps growing. It grows towards the light. This entire vine here wasn't here like three weeks ago. It stopped at the top of this moss pole. Gonna have to get it a bigger one and then move it probably. This is my pothos that just lives in the window and it just keeps growing. This is actually all one vine here and it hangs all the way down to here which is insane. I should probably snip it and propagate it, make a fuller plant. My letter board. I got this at Ikea for like five bucks. I love it. It's just like a big black leaf, but it's so cute. All right, let's get a little closer. This is my booby cactus, which is doing pretty happy here. It hasn't put on a ton of growth, just the top couple of pads there. That's about it, but overall it's, it's a decent size. My little spritzer. This is a cutting of a Raphidophora tetrasperma that Becca sent me in the mail not that long ago. You know, the video where I cried because of that. This is my plant dreams picture that I drew with some paint markers that I was just overly proud of because I don't draw and I just really liked it. So it lives there. Got that from Ikea. And then this is my string of hearts that I chopped off. Look at all that. That all came off of the bottom of my string of hearts. So I'm just propagating it in this vase here that I also got from Ikea. I got this and this, both of them together was two bucks. They have them on clearance at Ikea, like right now guys. So if you're interested in them, go look it up. See if your local Ikea has them. This is a Monstera leaf that I got in the mail from a fellow plant lady on Instagram. I will link her name below. She makes these. And then this I got from my dear friend Becca de la Plans. I unboxed it and I cried like a baby. Absolutely gorgeous, it's my logo. And then like underneath this thing is just some tripods that I have for filming and a box with miscellaneous crap in it and all this wire stuff. Like I am not good with wire management. <laughs> 
I just, I can't, my husband, that's my husband's department. So these wires just hang there and they kind of aggravate me, but you know, whatever. But anyway, that is that section of my office. Now, if you go to the left of the door, we have some pictures up here, which have been here for a long time. This used to be my propagation wall piece that my husband bought me. And for the summer, I clean it out so there's no water in there. I just clean it out and I put picked flowers in there. This is some Russian sage from the garden. These are some caladiums. Oh no, wildflowers, I think. I'm not quite sure which kind. They already closed up actually. I just picked them yesterday. They don't survive very long after you pick them. You got to enjoy them. This is a macrame piece that I made a pretty long time ago. Thought it was pretty good for me not knowing what I was doing. <laughs> This is my Lekka cactus. I have had this in Lekka since I got it from Wallflower District. Adrienne, she's over on Etsy. I'll link her shop below. She was the one who encouraged me to try Lekka, or cactus rather, in Lekka. And I am just totally astounded that this is growing in Lekka. I mean, I, I just cannot believe it. This is my Cirrus epiphyllum, also known as a, oh, what is it called? Queen of the Night? Yes, I think it's Queen of the Night. I think that's what it's called. Here's my Hoya Bilabada I received from Nina over on Instagram. I'm gonna link her below here. She is just amazing and sent me this beautiful, huge Hoya Bilabada in this gorgeous handmade planter that she made herself. Also be sure to follow Barn and Fruit on Instagram if you're interested, you can reach out. Here is just a wall shelf that hangs here. It's supposed to go in a window, but I don't have a window big enough. As you can see this window down here, it's just not, it's too short. So I hung it on the wall here and it just has a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. Family trip to Arizona, Graceland, that is the skeleton of a saguaro cactus that I got in Arizona. Mia, Mia made this for me. We belong together and there's a little, what are those called? Those rubber bracelet bees. Anyway, this is a sock, funny. <laughs> there's just like beans in here and then it's a sock. Another trip to Arizona. I got that from a wedding. I thought that was so cute. It's a little gnome. Uh, Mia made this for me which is just me in like a garden of plants, Legos. The kids in Arizona, a little cactus melty bead thing. This is my orchid plant food and I use this on my Hoyas and it's just amazing. This is linked in my Amazon store if you're interested below. Little coffee poem, a little clay pot that Mia made me. And then down here is just total trash. We have got to paint our stairs. Oh, this is the color of my wall. It's bare. Um, premium, it's the Marquee brand, is Bubble Turquoise. I know a lot of you guys were asking me the color of my wall. That's what it is. This is a hand-painted painting from one of Jay's friends from New York. He sent it to me and it is so beautiful. You could see it's like three, it's like a, it's almost like a wide angle fisheye drawing of the beach and the clouds and then there's some Alocasia polys in front with a giant flower. I just want to go there. <laughs> we have some dog stuff, games for outside. These are all dog leashes and my little window that has stuff in it instead of plants. All the kids' shoes. <laughs> because this door also leads to the backyard. So my office is pretty much a hot spot for like traffic. Kids come in and go and it's kind of crazy in here. Rug I got from Target. And that's pretty much it, you guys. This is my office tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have more tours coming. The next tour is gonna be of the kitchen. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys have a really good day and enjoy your week. Thanks guys and I'll see you in my next one.